Hello, YouTubers. It's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another 10 Car Tuesday episode. And today we're going to take a look at some pretty cool green light uh, castings. And we're going to start with this one right here, the Custom 1989 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. Stock and Custom. Uh, muscle Car Garage. This is Muscle Car Garage Series 6. It's kind of an earlier green light. This would be from uh, copyright date of 2008 on this car if you want to see what else is in the series. They had a lot of cars in the series. Um, so, pretty interesting. We're going to go ahead and open this up. So, as usual, this is going to be all green light cars. We're going to do 10 of them. They're all different castings. So 10 completely different cars. We're going to start with this one. And this is an older green light, so we're expecting some really good quality here. Not all of the cars we're going to show you today are older green light. This one is. Um, and what denotes an older green light? Well, they used to put these green posts. They used to paint the post green. And I forget when they stopped doing that. But while they were doing that, you usually got some pretty high quality pieces. So this looks really good. Um, one of the th weird things about this casting, typically it does suffer sometimes from a lean. And this one, it does do it a little bit. I don't know if you can tell on camera. The stance isn't exact on both sides. And that is common for this casting for whatever reason. Um, one other weird thing is, I just noticed on the back, there is a crack in the rear windscreen in the rear window that i've never seen before pulling a car out of the package now i was just about to tell you that the other green light stuff should be better quality um i'm not sure if this was which factory this was made in i know they did move factories uh heavy metal 164 had talked about it in previous videos uh the hood also opens on this casting And I can feel it wanting to open, uh, but I don't think it's going to cooperate for me. I really would like to get it open. And I don't think it's going to open for me. So anyway, it's stuck shut. We're not going to be able to look at it. But there is a little bit of detail underneath there. I still need to make like a hood opening, hood opening, hood opening tool. Oh, it was actually making the snap sound was the window piece. So I guess that's kind of unfortunate that they've got that that thing has a crack in there, but really it's not going to affect too much about the way it displays. And uh, it's another one of these Firebirds. I collect this Firebird, so it's another one off the list. Of course, if I find another one, I'll probably pick it up. If I ever see these anyway in uh, for cheap, I'm definitely going to grab them. And this thing was pretty cheap, so so there you go. There's car number one for a ten car Tuesday. This kind of sweet uh, Pontiac Firebird. Oh, this did, these cars do also come with a um, little card in there as well. Stock and custom, opening hood. I think the custom of this had some flameage on the side. I think a lot of them did. All right, so that's that. Enough of the Firebird. Let's go ahead and move on. Let's go to a GTO. So we got a couple, another Pontiac here. And here is the GTO, custom 1967. Uh, so this is also in the stock and custom series. This is also in muscle car garage. This is what series number is this one from? This actually might be from the first one because it doesn't show a series number on here. So this may be the first series that they did muscle car garage stock and custom. It's a '67 Tiger. And go ahead, and pull it out here. This is another one that's got a green post on it. Are we going to see some good quality here? There it is. Get the, uh, here's the card. Same image on both sides of the card. And here's the car. Really sweet looking GTO. Convertible. Nicely detailed. I don't show any, I don't see any immediate issues with it. It stances pretty much right on there. It rolls really well. Uh, hood opens really easy, and you can see that the engine is somewhat detailed. Get in there again. There it is. You can kind of see it in there. 
Uh, overall, that's a good looking one. Good, it's, that that one's good shape. It's in good shape. I don't see any issues with it, um, and it looks really cool. I like the color of it, and uh, I collect GTOs too, so definitely digging on this one. This is not a casting I need to get every variation of, but the cool ones I'll definitely pick up, and I consider that a cool one. All right, so one more GTO. GTOs Pontiac GTO. Uh, this is an interesting one because it is Greenlight California Toys. So it's like, I believe California Toys, and I want to say maybe, I don't know if they were supposed to be shipped to just Brazil or what, South America. It's got... Uh, that right there uh, it's more of like an international type package this is copyright date 2012 on the back here um, there you go these are the cars that were in the California Tours toy series so this is from Tulane blacktop 1971 film GTO's Pontiac GTO a film I have not seen so of course I dig the GTO we're gonna open up the Car. I think all of the California Toys releases were also released in the U.S. and then re-released um, under this California Toys uh, name. So here it is, GTO. Looks pretty good. I like this casting. They haven't released it a whole ton. Um, there's no green post on this one. I see one flaw in the finish which is strange it's like a black line I don't know if that's like under the clear coat of the casting it's really weird because you can't I don't feel it on there so that's interesting get this hood open there we go not much detail under there just black it opens and shuts very well though it's got that weird line I don't know what that's about uh, the spoiler part is plastic. They also do release a convertible version, I think. No, do they do a convertible of this one? Yeah, they do a convertible of this uh, GTO. And they also do a um, spoilerless version as well. So let me see if I can adjust this camera just a little bit more. Sorry, guys. But pretty cool. I like it. It'll join my GTO Greenlight collection. <laughs> pretty awesome all right so next up let's take a look at this guy right here this is a 1971 Plymouth Barracuda uh, this is from the Country Roads series 11 which came out in two, well 2014 is the copyright date of it let's go ahead and open it up which the copyright dates on Greenlight actually might be the same year release they uh, they release stuff very quickly from licensing to development to getting it out there. They uh, they actually have a very fast cycle, it seems. Um, they're always putting out new toolings. They're always doing new stuff. They're always getting new licenses. They're always they're, There's a lot of movement in the green light um, diecast arena. So definitely a fun brand to collect because there's always they're always putting out something new and interesting. So, all right, so speaking of that, there's also a convertible version of this. This has a plastic top. So that's a plastic uh, piece on the top there, which always means that that's an easy way to make it a convertible tooling. And it looks really good. Um, so this is somewhat newer. Uh, number is 886. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to numbers. I didn't see anything crazy on the bottom of any of these. Hood opens on this one. Uh, to reveal that hemi orange motor pretty cool and yeah lots of good detail this one's good quality I don't see any issues with it um, do you guys see anything wrong with it it's always different when I look at the video back I always see a little bit more but uh, pretty cool it's got pretty wide tires on it for the size of the casting but it looks I think that's a good looking uh, Barracuda so, cool. All right, that's cool. Let's uh, move on. Let's do a 1970 Dodge Charger. And I believe this, and I could be way wrong, but this does look like, like the one that's in like a Fast and the Furious movie or I've seen in Fast and the Furious series. Uh, this is, though, from GL Muscle Series 17, so it's a fairly new 
newer vehicle. Uh, 2016 is the copyright date of it. Let's go ahead and open it up. I'll just set it there for a second while I pull out the other the little card that's in here. It's got info on it. Here's the card. Let's see what it's on the back there. You can pause that and read that if you'd like to. So I don't really know, but um, it's got that big blower up in the front, so I think that's obviously not a stock vehicle like that. Uh, the hood does not open. Um, this thing's got some like grease on it, some sort of oil. I'm just kind of wiping it off right now with a microfiber cloth. It's weird because it gives it like a weird haze. So we'll go ahead and polish it up a little bit, I guess. I guess we could probably do that more off camera than we need to right now. But uh, focus a little bit. Overall, it looks it looks pretty cool. There's the front of the car. Uh, green light doesn't do a lot of crazy. They usually do stock vehicles, basically stock and police vehicles. The things on a little crooked too in the front. So it is kind of interesting to see this with a big blower, blown engine out the front of it. It's a blown engine on a Charger. California plates. Um, but it does look pretty cool. So I will add that to the collection. Pretty rough roller. A lot of... Uh, a lot of friction there, uh, but it does look all right. So let's go ahead and take one last peek at that, and then we will go ahead and move on. All right, so next up, we're going to look at two Motor World castings. Some of you may think these things are lame because they're kind of boringish cars, but here is the 2013 Dodge Dart GT from Motor World, Motor World Series 12. Copyright date on this one is 2014. like these being on just cardboard so the motor world lineup typically is going to have plastic base um, some of them were numbered i don't think all of them were some of them are going to have like a gl tooling number some of them won't because they were previous high speed castings i don't think this ever was a high speed casting this is always just a green light original which is why it has a tooling number on the bottom uh, at least to my knowledge that's what it is and it does look pretty good i mean yeah, you might argue this isn't a super exciting car, but uh, detail-wise, it, it looks pretty good. You've got lens detail up front. Um, you do a side mirrors. you got actual uh, lens insert in the back that's detailed. The only, and it's got rubber tires. It's got uh, decent looking wheels, and it rolls pretty good. It feels pretty solid uh, in spite of the plastic base. I mean, the only thing I guess that it may not have going for it that you're used to with the green light or premium model is the fact it's got a plastic base. Uh, but if you collect like Kyosho or any other, you know, import die cast model with plastic bases that have nice detail on the top half, this won't bother you one bit. And it doesn't bother me one bit either. So not saying the dart is a fantastic vehicle and is something that i'm really into and passionate about but uh this looks pretty nice that being said nice basic kind of stock car it's got some striping going on that looks a little bit more sporty than just a solid color but uh um i think it looks pretty good so yeah that's pretty nice i, I like it all right and then another one that would be kind of similar to that. It's a 2012 Focus ST. This is from uh, Motor World Series 10. And similar deal going on with this. Copyright date 2013. Go ahead and open it up. See, I got it for $3. Which is actually a good price on some of these Motor Worlds. Some of these Motor Worlds are actually kind of tough to find. Tough to get. Um, they didn't release these castings as much, I think. Uh, so here this one is not quite right off the bat not quite as cool as the dart is as far as the detailing goes on it um, it does have 
side mirrors. It has what appears to be, yeah, they are lens detail up front. They're like painted silver from the inside, which almost makes them look painted on. And then the, gosh, yeah, they actually do have plastic uh, inserts too for the taillights, but they almost look painted on, which gives it kind of a weird look because they painted that white on the outside of this one. I don't know. It looks okay. Wheels look uh, pretty good. Again, you're going to have a plastic base of this one. You can see this one is not numbered, but it does have a tooling number. And this one is interesting that it has a screw in the back and a rivet in the front. That's kind of weird. I don't know how many of their castings have that. That is kind of strange. You'll notice too, this one does not have a hole for a screw in the middle. And this one does. Hmm. Which makes me think, you know, they made versions of it then that were that were screwed to the base of something. If they have that, which means that it is possible that this might have been a high speed casting initially. I don't know. Well, no, 2013 it couldn't be, I don't think. Hmm. I don't know. Because you didn't, for the dioramas, they put uh, the twisty tie things usually around there, right? Or they did screw some to the base for the for the dioramas. So this is probably in a bunch of dioramas. I don't know if this was, and if it was, it had the twisty ties around the wheels. Sorry for going off on that tangent. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. But Greenlight does make five-pack dioramas, and typically they have Motor World cars in them. And so you'll see cars like this typically in that. I don't think there's a lot of releases of this Focus, though. So... But it's a pretty cool little tooling, and uh, I'm glad to add it to my collection. And not as cool as the Dart, though, but pretty cool indeed. All right, so <clears throat> moving on. And lastly, we're going to take a look at all three of the popular kind of van castings from Greenlight. We're going to start with this one that's fairly a new release. This is running on empty Series 7. This is the 1977 Dodge B100. Initial in tires, livery. Pretty cool casting. Pretty neat. I like my Dodge vans. Dodge vans are cool. All vans are pretty cool, in my opinion. And this is no exception. Living on it looks pretty good. Motorcycle racing team. Rolls well. 2741 is the number. This one's got metal body, metal base. Uh, not too much to really get crazy about here, but... It, <clears throat> it looks really good. Uh, this It does have painted detail. These do not have lens detail. It is solid metal, right? So it's pretty heavy. Um, it's got that interesting window option here where sometimes it is like painted over and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it actually is kind of like a window, right? I think. Yeah, it is part of plastic in there. So, yeah, it's all right. So there's there's a van, and then another van would be this one right here, the Chevy G20. This is an older green light. This is from Black Bandit Series 7 from back when they told told you how limited they were, limited to 3756. Uh, copyright date 2012. This one does not have a green post, so it's not that old, but it's 2012. It is in a gloss black. Really dig this one. I, I really dig this tooling. Uh, very cool van, this Chevy. <clears throat> Again, no lens detail, okay, in the back or the front, but they do have some pretty nice reflective paint back here for the taillights. And the detailing is actually quite good. Um, it rolls pretty good. Uh, number 997. You got side view mirrors. It looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. I dig it. I love my vans, so I'm trying to get all of the green light vans, uh, all variations of it. Don't don't need to go after all the green machines, but all the actual regular releases of these I definitely want. And there's still quite a few. I think real a few that I'm missing. Not that many, but a few. All right, so there's that. And then lastly, this one's kind of a treat. This is the. BA is 1983 GMC Vandura. This is actually a Miho exclusive, the 18 Chrome Edition. Uh, this particular one is limited to 4,600 pieces. <clears throat> and it is a chromed version of the 18 van, which 
I am not super crazy about in comparison to the other one. It, I guess it looks kind of cool that it's chromed underneath there. But it being black, you can't even really tell. And the paint actually kind of looks just splotchy on it because, you know, paint somewhat has a hard time sticking to very smooth chromed surfaces. Uh, the wheels look okay, being that kind of chromed look as well. Uh, the base looks actually pretty nice, being chromed. Uh, 2722 is the number here. There's the tooling number over there, GL133A. It looks pretty good, I guess. The window's really cloudy on this one. Look how cloudy that is. That piece, not clear at all. Did they ditch the interior on it? They didn't want you to see it? It's in there. I don't know. That's strange. All right. <clears throat> how cloudy that is. That's just weird. I mean, some of the green light stuff doesn't have the greatest clarity in the, in the window uh, glass, but... This one's got, it's really cloudy. The back is pretty cloudy, too. That is kind of interesting. All right, so here it is. Then this is the last car we're going to take a look at. We're already at 21 minutes here, 22 minutes almost. And it does look pretty good. It looks pretty good, but it's kind of a disappointment, I guess, because it doesn't look as chromed as it could be. And I think the, uh, the chases, though, of these cars are, like, straight-up chrome. They don't have any of the color. Also, one of the wheels on this thing is, is also wonky, which is too bad and unfortunate. So, all right, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, 10 Car Tuesday. Um, we've got green light. So let me know what your favorite is of this episode. I would think, for me, actually, this first one that we looked like, even though it's got that crack in the back uh, window there, uh, that's probably my favorite casting that we're looking at here is this Firebird. Um, other than that, like, this is actually a really nice surprise at the quality uh, that it is after getting this out of the package and how this thing looks. For some reason, I'm, I'm really digging it. Um, and then after that, maybe this GTO is sweet. Uh, this GTO is pretty cool. Um, in summary, this is kind of disappointing. Uh, that's probably the best of the vans. It'd be this all blacked out one. And yeah, oh, this is pretty cool too. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Also, if you're looking for a case that actually fits these type of castings, these larger ones, these larger vans and stuff like that, um, you can go to mascardisplays.com. That is mascardisplays.com. Yes, uh, they have reached out to me as a sponsor for the channel and have given me a promo code, which is CHAMPION. Promo code CHAMPION on mascardisplays.com. Uh, check it out. Uh, the displays do fit these larger toolings, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so I'm actually going to be getting a bunch of them and uh, I'm going to be filling them up with a lot of green light because green light makes some larger castings and you got to have space to store them on the wall, especially if you are a loose collector like myself. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.